Hi everybody, this is Alchemist 2 and I'm back again with another book review. Not too long ago I finished the third book of the Land of Stories series and I know there are a few people out there that haven't heard of this particular series but <coughs> just because you haven't heard of it doesn't mean it's not good. It's absolutely enthralling from the moment that you open the book up to the very end you just are completely transfixed by the book and this takes place from where the second one left off when they had the battle with Esmia and defeated her um, the uh, the characters are much more uh, mature I think in this particular version and they still have their trials and their tribulations because they're becoming teenagers or close to teenagers uh, and it's very intriguing to see what happens in this particular book and of course uh, on, the, on the front cover there's a, a character called the masked man well you learned about this masked man and who he is will just absolutely leave you breathless when I, when I learned who this person was I thought <gasps> even though I had my suspicions um, this this one I think is my my favorite of the entire series, and he, and he leaves it at a cliffhanger, which I thought, oh Chris Colfer, you devil, how dare you? You're so sadistic. But I'm really hoping that he writes another one. I'm not sure how many he has planned, but this this book is absolutely sensational. It just has everything you could possibly want in a story and more. Plus, you get to hear retellings of uh, the curvy tree and the walking fish, which I think are great stories in and of themselves. That the ones that uh, the young boy, I think his name's Connor, the one that the ones that Connor wrote, and they are really stupendous stories. And uh, I like them both very much and then we, we learn about the importance of these particular stories as well um, of course the Brothers Grimm are involved in this particular tale and what else makes it really uh, interesting is the timeline in the very beginning of the, of the book if you open it up actually I can show you because I, I love the way this is done if you open the book up there's a leaflet and and you see this hourglass and then you can just open that up and it has a timeline <laughs> of everything that has happened in the fairy world and then what they call the the other world and it's excellent I think it's just uh, something I, I feel that everybody can enjoy. It's, it's more for young reader, but I think even adults can get a lot from it as well. Um, there are a lot of good values that Chris teaches within the, the duration of his book, and it's not offered at Walmart, which I thought was very intriguing. They only have um, the Enchantress Returns. They don't have the Wishing Spell. The Wishing Spell is the first book. They did at one point in time. I uh, when I saw it, I thought, "What is this Land of Stories thing?" I had never even heard of it, and I I picked it up, and I just Im immediately fell in love with it. It was, it wasn't even a contest. I thought, "This is right up my alley." It's, I love fantasy and I love fairy tales, so it was <laughs> something that I knew I was going to to like from from the beginning as soon, as soon as I saw the cover it just it just immediately drew me I couldn't I couldn't pull myself away I thought I have to read this book and I did and I adored it and I thought Mr. Colfer here he has a gem on his hands and he's got a great imagination and I, I hope I could see more so then <laughs> He writes the second book. I thought, yes, and I was so happy. It, well, I knew he would, as I'd read about it, and it, it's about Esmia, the Enchantress Returns. Of course, I did a review on that, and I, I knew he would uh, write another one, but I wasn't sure what it was going to be called. This one's called a. Um, 
and it's just a play on words. I really like that. It's it's very clever. Uh, I'm hoping he writes another one. I really do because, like I said, he leaves it on a freaking cliffhanger, and I couldn't stand that. I thought, why? This is just just as bad or even worse as those TBCs at the end of every episode I used to watch Pokemon, and <laughs> yeah, I, I equate it to that. <laughs> but it's just. You keep wondering, what's going to happen next? Come on, just show me the whole thing. Don't just leave me hanging. But hopefully he will. So, fingers crossed, Land of Stories fans. Fingers crossed. <laughs>